Hey, good morning, Alpine Church. It's Pastor John here from the Logan campus. So great to be worshiping with you this morning. Today in our spotlight video, we're going to highlight Luke Harden. Now, many of you know Luke and his wife, Kaylee. They've not only blessed the Logan campus with their service, but they've blessed all of our campuses between volunteering at Fusion and serving on worship teams. And I'm excited to announce that Luke is coming on staff as the associate campus director here at the Logan campus. And so we're going to have Luke tell us a little bit more about how God has used serving at the church to open new opportunities for him. So here's Luke Harden. Hey, thanks for that intro, John. As he mentioned, I'm stepping into the new role here as associate campus director and worship director at Alpine Logan, which is a huge opportunity for me that I'm so grateful for. And I'm so grateful to the congregation for the support and the giving that has made positions like this possible at all of our Alpine campuses. And I, I thank God for this opportunity as well. He's had his fingerprints on it since the very beginning, which I can kind of trace back six years to the first weekend I ended up here at Alpine Logan. I moved here in 2014 to start going to school at Utah State. And the first weekend I was here, I ran into an acquaintance at the time who ended up becoming one of my very closest friends and, and moved back to Boise. So I, I don't see him here anymore, but he, the, he just came out one Sunday and was ready to go to Alpine Church and invited me to come with him. So I did. And we both felt this burning need to get into a Christian community. So we got onto the usher greeter team, I think within the first month that we started coming to Alpine and uh, used that as an opportunity to meet people. But when he moved away that next school year, I still had not really gotten into a Christian community very solidly. So I, I began looking for more opportunities to serve. And I ended up as a kids church teacher as well on my off weeks when I wasn't at the front door shaking hands and, and saying hi to people. So God really used that first year and that second year to, to start forming me in my faith and start really building a foundation. Uh, but he didn't stop there either. He, he provided me another opportunity very quickly after that in the form of a youth leader who came to me and, and was in dire need of another, another male leader. So she asked me if I would be interested in coming every week to hang out with high schoolers and middle schoolers. And that became a completely different ball game for me because I, I was talking to kids about faith and about Bible stories. And that's awesome, especially as a new Christian for me to start, start learning about those things too, and really, really starting, starting to build that foundation. But when you start talking to youth about the real struggles and the real hardships and the real questions that they begin to have, you've got to take ownership of your faith and, and figure out how to talk to them about it and show them that it is true, that Jesus is good and, and he is God. Um, so God used that as another opportunity to, to start building me into a, a, a Christian that he could use for his kingdom. And he didn't stop there either. He kept that fire burning. And uh, one weekend, missions week, right after Christmas, uh, the next opportunity came in the form of a couple named Barbara and John Abbott who just saw me alone and asked if I wanted to go to lunch. And there they asked me if I had ever played music or been interested in playing music. And they introduced me to their son, Ashton, who taught me to play the drums. And then he taught me to play guitar. And then he asked me to lead worship here at Alpine Logan. And this became one of the greatest opportunities I've ever had in my whole life. He met with me and mentored me once a week for about three years and just taught me so much about ministry and how that works and how it, what it means to talk to people and, and have real relationships with them and talk to them about their faith and your faith and, and to minister to them, truly. And uh, if I had not gotten into serving so quickly, I would not be the Christian that I am today or be in this place today or have this opportunity to serve the congregation now in this way, in this new capacity. So I, I praise God every day for the opportunities that he opened up, the doors that he opened up and the fire he put into my soul to, to do that when he did. And I cannot encourage you guys enough as the congregation of Alpine to, to seek out those opportunities to serve your brothers and sisters in every way you can. So please go out and, and serve. God bless.